hey welcome today i'm gonna read you something and the topic of this is how to deal with your tensions these are the world famous lists of simple suggestion for easing the pressure of everyday living okay and this is a condensed version of letting know how to ease uh, your tension so let's start reading this one everybody experiences tensions anxiety and tensions are essential function of living just as hunger and thirst are they are our self protective reactions when we are confronted by threats to our safety well being well being happiness or self esteem so while an occasional bout of anxiety and tension may be unpleasant it is quite normal and it need not be a cause for concern the time to become watchful it the time to become watchful is when emotional upsets come frequently shake us severely and fail to wear off after a while how do you recognize when this is happening perhaps your answers to these question will give you some indication first question is do minor problems and small disappointments throw you into a dither do you find it difficult to get along with people and are people having trouble getting along with getting along with you do the small players of life fail to satisfy you are you unable to stop thinking of your anxieties do you fear people or situations that never used to bother you are you suspicious of people mistrustful of your friends do you feel inadequate suffer the tortures of self doubt if your answer is yes to most of these questions it does not mean disaster but it does indicate the need to deal with the situation here are certain simple practical positive actions you can take for yourself the very first one is talk it out when something worries you don't bottle it up confide your worry to some level headed person you can level headed person you can trust your husband or wife father or mother a good friend your clergyman your family doctor or teacher talking things out helps to relieve your strain helps you to see your worry in a clearer light often helps you to see what you can do about it number 2 escape for a while that's very important sometimes it helps to escape from a painful problem for a while to lose yourself in a movie or a book or a game or a brief trip for a change of scene making yourself stay there and suffer is a form of self punishment not a way to solve a problem but be prepared to come back and deal with your difficulty when you are more composed in better emotional condition and intellectually as well number 3 work off your anger work off your anger if you find yourself using anger as a general pattern of behavior remember that anger will generally leave you feeling foolishly you feel Uh, feel your feeling foolish and sorry in the end if you feel like lashing out at someone try holding off until tomorrow meanwhile pitch into some physical activity like gardening or carpentry or tennis or a long walk working the anger out of your self system will leave you much better prepared to handle your problem intelligently next one give in occasionally give in occasionally right if you find yourself getting into frequently quarrels with people and feeling obstinate and defiant and defiant remember that that's the way frustrated children behave stand your ground on what you believe is right but do it calmly and make allowance for the fact that you could turn out to be wrong and even if you are dead right it's easier on your system to give in once in a while if you do this you will un- you will usually find that others will yield to the result will be relief from tension and the achievement of a practical solution together with a feeling of satisfaction and maturity do something for others 
that's very important point if you worry about yourself all the time try doing something for somebody else this will take the steam out of your worries and even better give you a warm feeling of having done well take one thing at a time take one thing at a time to people under tension an ordinary workload looks so great that it's painful to tackle any part of it when that happens pitch into a few of the most urgent tasks one at a time setting aside the rest for the time being once you dispose of the first matters the rest will go much more easily if you feel you can't set anything aside reflect are you sure you aren't overestimating the importance of things you do that is your own importance shun the superman urge some people get into a state of anxiety because they think they are not achieving as much as they should they try for perfection in everything this ideal is an invitation to failure decide which things you do well and then put your major major efforts into these they are likely to be things that give you more satisfaction give others things the best of your ability but don't take yourself to task if you can't achieve perfection in them next point go easy with criticism go easy with criticism some people expect too much of others then feel let down disappointed frustrated and when another person does not measure up the other person may be a wife a husband or a child whom we are trying to fit into a preconceived pattern perhaps even trying to make over to suit ourselves remember each person has the right to develop as an individual people who feel let down by the shortcomings real or imagined of their relatives are really let down about themselves instead of being critical of another person's behavior search out his good points and help him to develop them this will give you both satisfaction and help you gain perspective on yourself give the other fellow a break people under tension often feel that they have to get there first no matter if the goal is as trivial as getting ahead on the highway everything becomes a race in which somebody is bound to get injured life need not be this way competition is contagious but so is cooperative so is cooperation when you give the other fellow a break you often make things easier for yourself if he no longer feels you are a threat to him he stops being a threat to you next point make yourself available make yourself available many of us have the feeling that we are being left out slighted neglected often we just imagine this instead of shrinking away and withdrawing it is healthier and more practical to make our shares yourself there is a middle ground between withdrawal and pushing try it try it you can do that schedule your recreation many people find it hard to take time out for such people a set schedule of hours for recreation will help it is desirable for almost everyone to have a hobby that absorbs him in off hours one into which he can throw himself completely and with his player forgetting all about his work often emotional difficulties arise out of practical problems financial difficulties trouble on the job problems of children and parents marital trouble but just as often a person's long standing habits and attitudes may produce conflict these interacting forces outside him and within him tend to build up each making the other worse perhaps rapidly so in such cases we may need more help than we can give ourselves help of the sort our counseling or guidance service gives these services may be found in churches in school in family welfare agencies school churches industrial plants settlements houses public health departments they help people clear up practical problems thus help relieve emotional strains however if an emotional disturbance becomes too dis- uh, distressing it should be dealt with as an illness requiring professional treatment just as one deals with a cold when it becomes severe go to your family doctor he may recommend visiting a psychiatrist 
psychiatrist or treatment at a clinic or a mental hospital. To find out about counseling and treatment in your community, get in touch with your local or state mental health association. Request for peace of mind or for good mental health, which is an, which is an another name for it, is universal. Yet few of us are blessed with all the internal qualities and external circumstances that automatically assure it. We have to work to achieve it. We have to work to achieve it. This means striving for a better understanding of ourselves and others. It means working out our problems by ourselves which we can. And seeking the assistance of, assistance of others when we need it. There is a basic philosophy fundamental to good emotional health. This is the philosophy of faith. Faith is the ability of ourselves and others to improve and grow. Faith in the desire and capacity of human beings to work out problems cooperate, cooperating, cooperatively. Faith in spiritual and moral values, in the essential decency of mankind. This faith will carry us through stresses that might otherwise shatter us apart. Be careful with your emotions and with your mental health. Right? You can ease your tensions, take it easy, relax, be happy, and that's the best way you can do. Trust yourself, believe in yourself.